S-400 surface-to-air missiles guarding the land, the indigenous INS Vikrant guarding the seas, the French Rafales and India's own light combat aircraft Tejas guarding the skies, and very recently India entered a new realm by launching mission Def Space, an initiative to develop innovative solutions for the tri-services in the space domain. The last few years have seen India make giant strides in strengthening its defense capabilities. The push to make in India has ramped up indigenous defense production and procurement, with Indian MSMEs dependent on defense sectors getting a boost. The government of India has so far released four positive indigenization lists, totaling to over 411 items to achieve self-reliance in defense production. Indian companies, both public and private, are producing a plethora of defense products ranging from bulletproof vests to missiles and jets. Milan 2 d anti-tank guided missiles, Akash surface-to-air missile system, Dhanush artillery gun system, the Prachand multi-role light attack helicopter have added firepower to the armed forces. Our soldiers are now being provided with Made in India bulletproof helmets. 1 lakh grenades manufactured by a private company have been given to the Indian Army. The government has even cleared a deal with Russia to manufacture 7.5 lakh AK-203 assault rifles in India that will replace the arc AK in SAS rifles. Corporatization of the OFB into seven different PSUs has given the much-needed impetus to turn it around into a company producing world-class arms and ammunition. But Make in India has not been just about making defense products for India. Till 8 years ago, India was recognized as the world's largest defense importer. Today, India's defense exports have grown 8 times in the last 5 years. India is exporting defense materials and equipment to more than 75 countries. Defense items and technology worth a record 13,000 crore rupees was exported in 2021-22. This has been possible because of the government's proactive efforts in establishing a defense manufacturing ecosystem. Defense corridors have been established in Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. The two defense corridors are not just housing companies producing war machines, but has become machines of employment, generating thousands of jobs for the Indian youth. Defense expos are being held every year in different parts of the country to attract foreign investments. Big defense companies of the world are coming to invest in India who are being supported by MSMEs, creating a large supply chain network. In terms of technological advancements, the country has been at the forefront of innovating and adopting latest technologies. India in March 2019 tested an anti-satellite weapon in an operation codenamed Mission Shakti, hitting a satellite in the lower Earth orbit, announcing its arrival in the domain of space security. With Mission Def Space, India has formally created a dedicated agency to combat threats from space and also for efficient coordination of the tri-services. For long, India's defense sector had been longing for a face lift. A common Indian's foray into defense was only through some scams like the Bofors. Today, the Indian defense sector is making news for intent, innovation and implementation, catapulting the country to achieve strength through self-reliance.